Okay, to set up your final, your final drawing is your paper is nine inches by 12 inches. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ruler, and mine's in my sketchbook here, but you're gonna take your ruler right up against the edge of your final paper. And I want you to very, very lightly mark three inches and six inches vertically, okay? You can see really lightly that that's where the rule of thirds are. You're gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna turn my paper here, and you're gonna do the same thing at the length of 12 inches. You're gonna have a really, really light mark at three, six, and nine. Really, really lightly, because that gives you your rule of thirds. Once that's done, you are going to measure a border. And so from the top down, you're gonna have your box at two and a half. So this is two and a half inches from the top of your paper to here, two and a half inches on the bottom as well. So two and a half inches from the top two and a half inches from the bottom. And then this box is going to be, from the edge of your paper, is going to be two inches, okay? This box is permanent, okay? This is the box that is going to be all color inside, okay? So again, lightly mark your rule of thirds so you know where you're at, and then a permanent box two and a half inches top and bottom and two inches from the side. Once you get that done, you are going to start placing your subject. Obviously mine is a tiger. By placing this transparency over the top, you can actually see the rule of thirds and you can see where I have placed my subject and how it actually sits within the rule of thirds. Really lightly through here, you can see that this is one of the rule of thirds marks. My eyes are right on the rule of thirds. I did that on purpose. That is what I chose to have part of an emphasis here. You can also see that my subject, the whole figure actually hits just past my two-thirds mark on this side of my frame, okay? So I've not only put an important part of the subject right on a third line, but I also used two-thirds from the bottom up and two-thirds from the right to left to fill in my composition, Okay, you can even see that I have foreshortening. You can tell that the lion head is very large. You can see that the shoulder is hitting the top of the box. You can see that this, uh, these um, claws are going to start to come over the border, which is kind of a cool thing. Um, this is starting to come out of the border as well. So you really have to be cognizant of how you are placing your subject on your final paper with the rule of thirds and filling in the area. Once you get your subject drawn out really, really lightly, you can start adding in your background idea as well. You can see what I've done is just, I'm going to be putting some vines and some leaves, some jungle leaves, maybe even um, a, a jungle like bark or tree down here to look like he's coming over um, that spot. Um, I want you to notice that this is a very quick general outline. I don't have the eyes done yet. I have, I don't have any of the stripes or any of the markings left to or, or added in. This is my visual. Okay, so 
you can tell that I have taken my subject and really your subject is probably going to be pretty full on the page from your visual to be able to transfer it that large to the final. You can see that it fits really, really nicely. So you're either drawing from your screen to get it nice and big, or if you have the opportunity to print a nice large photo as I did, then you can also draw from the photo.